And for today's Two Minutes of Science, we're going to talk about the hair dryer and what are its specifications. First, we're going to use a temperature probe like this in order to measure the heat that's coming off from about six inches away, so it's like where your hair is. The reading from the temperature probe will be displayed on this box in Celsius degrees, but on occasion I'll put up the Fahrenheit equivalent so that you can understand what the conversion is. Finally, the actual power utilization from the hairdryer itself is measured by this device in watts so that we can see how much energy is being used by the device. The air coming out of the hairdryer doesn't get much more than 140 degrees Fahrenheit or about 60 degrees Celsius. It, much hotter than that, it would be liable to burn the person who was drying their hair. The power changes from setting to setting. Uh, the low setting looks like it's about uh, 300 watts. The high setting is about four times that, at about 12 to 1300 watts. And then the hairdryer has another setting where if you push a button, the heaters stop, but it still blows air so that you can get a cool blast for a few minutes. And that's about 90 to 130 watts, as you observe on the meter. This particular appliance uses far more energy than the toaster or the curling iron or other devices that we've seen, so it should be used energy efficiently, if at all possible. Anyway, that's the hairdryer. Thanks. Bye.